what's up everybody, it's Chronic Hands here, I uh, hope you've had a good day, I think mine's been pretty good, um, pretty relaxed here during half time now, uh, while I'm break off the GCCs I guess, so um thought I'd bring you this tutorial, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download fonts off the internet for free, so um, you'll be using a website called the dafont.com, um, uh, yeah, like I said, you download free fonts, they're completely free, and uh, you can use them on all sorts of editing programs and your Microsoft Words and all of that, so it's just like any other font. So uh, let's get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open up your web browser. For me, it's Google Chrome. And once you get to the Google page, type in the uh, DAF font. Um, I'll be putting the link to this in the description if you're lazy and you just want to click it off the video. But I stuck this in for all of you who wanted this. So yeah, on Google it says defont.com. That's the first one that comes up and this is what it looks like when you click on it. Uh, at the top here, it's got the themes, authors and lots of other stuff. Uh, the most popular fonts and alphabetic order. And then here, there's the different types of fonts. So Fancy, foreign, techno, retro, gothic, all that sort of thing. And you've got your normal fonts as well. Um, these are some popular fonts as well. And it tells you how to install the fonts. Pretty simple for Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Uh, right click the fonts and install. Um, for XP, it's put the fonts into the C drive. And uh, Mac, it's um, double click the font file, install the font and uh, click the button um, now about that for Vista it is actually um, you put it on the C drive like on XP I'm not sure about 7 but for Vista you go onto the C drive and put it in the fonts folder once you've downloaded it so I'm just going to use an example font um, let's go with distorted and I think we're going to go with this one here, Pulse. Um, just make sure here it says free for personal use or free or free here. Because like this top one here, that you need to donate to um, get the font. So uh, there are mainly free fonts, but there's some that you have to pay for. Um, if you don't want to pay, then don't go for those. So if you click download on the right over here. Um, you can also click on the font itself and it gives you a preview of all of the um, different letters, what they'll look like if you type them in, and symbols. Uh, yep, and you can customize your preview as well. But once you click that, it's, it's a WinRAR file. There's a zip file for some of them, and for some of them it isn't, but most of them there is. Uh, basically, WinRAR is an extracting program where you extract it into your files. Um, so you can have a few folders in there. So um, you want to open it. If you're on Vista or something, you might need to allow it. So once you've opened it, sometimes they'll have a text readme file, but uh, sometimes they don't. All you want really is a true type font file or a different font file. So it could be open type or something like that. Uh, you want to highlight it and then extract it. Extract it anywhere that you know where it will be. Close WinRAR and close Chrome. Go to wherever you are extracted to. Uh, for me, it's this file here. And you can see it down here. It will have like the author's name and some other stuff. But that's what it will look like, really. So um, you're going to want to right click, copy, um, oh, you've got to select it first, then right click, and then copy. And then for Vista, um, or XP, I'm not sure about 7, go to Computer, I think it's the same for 7, you want to go to your C drive, and um, that's usually in the Computer 1, so Computer, Local Disk, C drive, click on that, go into Windows, and then go into Fonts, it's all enough by squad, so you should be able to find it quickly, and then once you're there, right click and paste, it will ask you to continue. Um, because it's a uh, administrating folder, so uh, 
press continue. It will take a few seconds to um, insert it in. And then you'll have it like this, it will be in here. Um, then if you scroll down to where it is, it should be in here already. There it is, Pulse Sands. You can rename it to what you want it to look like when it's in the thing. When you're going to use it. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, just to show you what it'll look like. Let's see. Microsoft Word. Let's see if it works in there. So open up Word. And you can type it in or you can scroll down. I'm going to type it in. Pulse. Sans. That's what it is. And if I increase the font. To, let's see. 72 so you can see it. You can see the cracks there. That was the original font. It starts off with cracks in this one. Most of them are just normal patterns, but here you go. Let's just type in. There you go. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. It will come up. Um, some other ones that I recommend Base 02. This is a good font. Yeah, pretty stylish. And just, you can just play about with what font you want and what you need at the time for certain things, so I um, hope this has helped, um, I'll put the link in the description to the thing, please comment on what you think, improvements, suggestions, um, and subscribe please um, for more tutorials, I have some more up already, so go check out my channel, and um, this has been Quadicans, hope this tutorial has been useful, and uh, thanks for watching, I'm out.